So um, what you want to first do is go to Corel Guide Menu. I have that installed and this will pop up and you want to go to Authoring which you're going to create a DVD basically is what Authoring means. And um, so the first thing you want to do is uh, go to make a new project. Uh, video disk, all the other buttons don't really mean anything. And it's DVD format, which is uh, going to end up being the, the HD version of what you shot. So that'll come up in just a second here. You have to make sure you have DVD Movie Factory installed as well. Okay. So we get this thing here. And what we want to need to do to is grab um, a file from the video shoot that you did. So I'm going to grab some from the video shoot we did with your camera. And simply you can just kind of, um, if you don't know what it is, because it's, you know, it has a serial number to it, you can just click the preview button down here. And you can do this type of thing. Uh, so I'll just pick this one here and I'll click open. And it should uh, come down here in the bottom. And then at the bottom, what you can do as well is these are the settings that are going to be on the DVD when it's finished. So you, you need to open these up and take a look at what you want. This is all just kind of um, saving for the computer. This is the real one that I wanted to point out to you, which is the MPEG settings. And uh, you'll want to pick something in the middle. So that's long play, 4x3. If you want to go fully, full, you know, HD quality, high end, you know, you'll go to GQ. But for this one, let's go here, and then you can choose the format as well, depending on, you know, if you have a really, uh, you know, 4x3 format is regular HD, 16x9 is like squeezed widescreen HD. So then just click OK. I'll stick with that format. You can always test it out too, if you want to burn a few D DVDs. And then click Next. And what it's doing now is it's going to take you to the DVD menu box. This is a nice little tool that came along with it. And basically you can choose what kind of menus you want at the beginning. Um, and audio you want as the background for the menu. So you haven't played with this very much because there's no need for me to try it out. But it's, it's pretty straightforward. After you finish making the, t the menu, you can go to preview. And it'll show you exactly what the menu would look like at the beginning and what um, what different you know features are on the DVD so to speak so you get this, this is like PA talking a bit and you, you'll see where you want to go and you can choose chapters type of thing, it's for chapters really so then just click next if you want to do that and we'll close it up Okay, and the next window is going to be the burn window. Okay, so this is where you want to name the DVD if it, as for filing. This isn't going to show up on the screen. So just call it DVD test. And it's going to go to your DVD drive. I don't have, have one, but there. And you make as many copies as you want. And voila, there's the burn, burn uh, button. That'll burn onto a DVD should turn it to an MPEG which plays on all DVD players and uh, also creates the file so you can send it by, via email um, yep should uh, that's pretty much how we did it for Rory's video so if you have any problems uh, let me know and good luck